we have a very special Rolling Stones to show you, don't we? We do. We do. Spent all night working on it. Now, uh, from what I found, we think they only made maybe 500 of this edition. This is the basic. And there seems to be a confirmed count of 350 of the limited edition, which has a plaque on it and a mirrored back glass. But I couldn't see any other changes, but I, there was only four pictures. I couldn't find really any data on it. But we did stuff with this that were never done before. Because remember, when this game came out, it was in the light bulb era, the early days. <coughs> Get your squints out. You gotta squint to see it. The early days. Actually, you can see this. Now, let me show you some footage before we started on it yesterday. This is basic lighting. Actually, not quite, because they were able to put colored bulbs in. The bulbs back here are actually colored to create more um, to make it look a little nicer. And it looks like at some point, and I'm wondering if it's one of our guys that actually put in here some LEDs. These may have been blown out totally. Because these are low level LEDs. But we're going to fix all that. See, regular incandescent. It's quite dull. Not for long, huh? And we got to figure out what we're going to do. we got to light this tongue up. Yeah, well. Yeah, we gotta light that up. Do you think? Oh, it will be. See right here? Hmm. It lights the mouth. Yeah, but just briefly, I think we should put a bulb behind yeah, that's fine. here. Yeah, that's fine. I think we can put a light yeah, yeah. right behind here. I'll figure something out. I'll stay one. I'm and looking course, forward to doing this one. The speakers should be lit. Yes. And I was thinking about getting behind these guys, too. So, these have flash lamps, but. I'm I don't looking. see why we can't have a regular light yeah. on. Yeah, and I could just do a different color on the flash lamp. That way you'll notice it's going off. Yeah, yeah. There's some some definite possibilities, I'm especially with the three-dimensional look here. Yeah, I'm looking forward to lighting this, like the Elvis. I like the music yeah. pins. Let's go back to the other machine, the finished product. That's a big difference. The man that designed this, Tom Copper. It looks like it was the only game he fully designed. He did tons of other machines and mechanics for, like for instance, uh, the Stern Star Treks. Uh, he did Elvira, uh, he, the uh, Stern Elvira. He did um, Cactus Canyon, mechanics on that. Uh, NBA Fast Break. So he, he worked on a bunch of other stuff, but he designed this himself and uh, We've enjoyed it. We went through this. We didn't like the lighting because they couldn't do anything back then. So Tim came up with some great, neat options if you own one of these. Well, let's start here. He put two strips in here. There's a t uh, Three. There's a strip under the tongue. Put two on the tongue, one on the mouth. One on the mouth, okay. And it's also being lit by a blue flash lamp here. Now, these characters here, all of our men, all of our players, none of them were lit. We have blue here, we have purple, we have yellow. Most important, Nick is now lit with white. And he had to wire this into the channel so the light would move with Beck. So when you play the game in a dark room, you'll see the characters and then as they respond, you'll see the flash lamps go off behind them. He put two fires behind the speakers, and then there's a blue strip on the back. It lights the signs, and then there's uh, color um, LEDs up here where the spotlights are. Okay, plus, of course, there's towers. There's LED towers throughout the machine. Under the play field, they're full. Um, it's, uh, as always, the yeah, hole's lit. Beautiful job, yes. The hole is lit, yes. And of course, we have our Timmy exclusive. Now the shooter is. And light o -matics. And <clears throat> both flipper buttons, which is, I find, a really great feature. Especially now, when you play it like this. Now, 
the rules are, are look pretty good. There's uh, <clears throat> there's six modes here. You have to collect all of them to get what they call an encore. Uh, your musical notes, for instance, you have to hit the notes here. Mick moves around fast, just like he does on stage. So you got to smack him this switch here to credit it and move on. Your three backstage passes, if you hit all three, it lights a mystery award. Okay, now these light are combo shots if you get all three. Now, there's only three rock stars. One, two, three. But they're hard to hit because of Mick. But if you get all three, it lights up here where you can hit the target back here and get into rock star um, uh, multi-ball. A lot of multi-ball formats on this thing. Of course, they use the uh, tongue ramp, the two center ramps here help accelerate it. And of course, you still do have your under, your wide loop shot. Okay, and then there's a spot here to hold the ball and capture the ball. See right there, the two posts will come up and grab Mr. Ball. Now up here in your three pop bumpers, these, these really move, wait until you see these move. Then they'll eventually go down here and feed through this hole. Okay. Yes, it's uh, quite, quite nice, isn't it? Quite nice. Now, it's running, I think, on my favorite stern system. If I can get it to click it. Good, come on. There you right, go. There we are. My favorite board system, very reliable. With the LEDs to tell you if his fuse is blown. Uh, I think I did this with you guys before. Uh, I'll count on my hands how many times either of these boards have failed in the hundreds of these games we sold. You ready? One, two, three, go! Now, I'm not going bad. Actually, in honesty, I should say the spike system has held up very well. Um, all the failures have been uh, one of two things. Immediately, from the factory, A, which happens. Oh, oh I have it in the flop position. A, this game hates or B, you. when you get some idiot in there putting in their mods and short something out. The spike system is not happy with shorts. So that's one thing we learned about the spike system. You have to have the power off before you clip any of your little mods on. And do not alligator clips on. You should solder them because the alligator clip, if it clips off and touches something, you risk blowing up your boards. That won't be nice. We just had a really annoying service problem with a spike. Um, Munsters. And we shipped the Munsters out. And it worked fine here. He got it. Everything worked fine for two days. Then he said suddenly it would just shut off. So we thought a socket in the house, a, a new appliance. I always asked, did you get a, a sump pump? Do you have it in the wrong socket? So he moved it to another socket and it seemed to work again. Then he called back up. He said, started doing it. I moved it to three different sockets on different sakers, not that. So I had him push all the boards in, all the connectors. That didn't do it. I had him pop the little card out and put it back in with the power off. That didn't fix it. It would work, and then it would just shut off and restart. Then it finally got to a point where it wouldn't restart. So we figured the logic board was bad, and we got a new board right away from Stern Support because it was under warranty. But the board didn't fix it. So I talked to Pablo there, and he suggested changing the boards, the other boards, the power supplies maybe. What the guy then called me back and he says he figured it out. When he pushes on the power cord in the back, sometimes the game will power up and then it won't. But he changed the power cord and the power plug looked fine. 
we had a good start. So we took out, I, oh I found out something neat. The, all the boards in the head of all the spike systems are all the same. The only difference is that little SIM card. So if you have two spikes, you can borrow the logic board out of one if you change the little card. Or the power supplies. We've never had the power supplies go bad. Never. Nothing. Those boards have never failed. So, we took the boards out of the Beatles, okay, and Kurt went over, and he took out, it's a mess, you have to take a lot of stuff out, but it's all bolts and stuff. And do you know what he found? There's a strip of connectors on the bottom edge of the power supply. The first three were the power connectors from the main power coming in, green, white, and black. And out of the seven screws, three, here's a picture, these three screws were not even close to being tightened. Not being tightened. And that's something that was the whole problem. We tightened the screws, it was perfect. So we figured the game was assembled on, on a Friday. It was like five o'clock and let's get this game out. Or maybe the day they were shutting the factory down. I don't know. It was a Bunsters. Uh, no, it would have been... Yeah, before that, yeah. Yeah, I don't know. But things happen. And Pablo, of course, I shared it with Pablo, and he said he had never heard anything like it. But now we can tell people, before you panic, to take, take the part out and just check all the screws. Loose screws. Problem solved. Good. That's done. Anyway, let's get back to this baby. Okay. We are going to show you... Oh, the game was sold brand new. Actually, I want to show you some stuff inside. Um, back in 2010. And, or maybe it was 11. It's been in a private home. It's never left the house. I wanted you to see this unique mechanism that Stern has. It warns you not to move this. So here's your pivot, your motor. And this moves Mick really frigging fast. These are the limit switches. Okay. And the optics. So the game knows where the board is and where it's centered. Very nice. Very nice. And it's quick. We also noticed the flipper mechs. See? The flipper mechs usually turn like this. They point this way and then this way. But this was turned up. And I couldn't quite gather why. I guess they, they just figured there wasn't enough room. But I have some light bulbs under here too. They put, uh, put that protective sheet on. But uh, not much to it, look. Got the sealed light bulbs. Here's the pinball machine setup. The original manual, never taken out of the book. I mean, this is once in a lifetime. And, <clears throat> and look. I should, I should peel that off. I should just rip that off. Now, come on. You don't think I was going to do that. I will take these extra balls out of the bottom. Because we're delivering this right after this video is done. You like the nice green sp spring? Well, the, the screen, the, these springs are color-coded on purpose for the strength. I don't know what green means. And I don't care either. I <laughs> don't care. However, since I have it up, I can show you how we wired in this. Look. <clears throat> we have a 555 here, and it's pointing at the clear button. It runs over here, where it, there's a splice, all uh, protected by heat shrink, and it's lighting here. It continues. We added this clip. Comes over here. We added another clip here where the strip is here that lights it. Goes from here, okay, and then it goes all the way down here. The lad hooked it up down here in one of the light sockets. Right there. Right there. Isn't that nice and neat? It looks just it. like Stern did it. We try to make Stern proud of us. Yep. But Gary still hates me. Sometimes, I'm sure. Hates me. No, it doesn't. Well, he doesn't know who I am. That's true. 
Anyway. You asked for them. Here they are. The Rolling Stones. You might turn the lights off or do you want to do We could. Now look, see you can see Mick now. His head is lit. So you can see the target. I just think it was Timmy's idea, and I thought it was a great idea. I really didn't like it. Just like the mouth, the mouth is hard. So now you can see everything. You can see me go right down the hole. Here, let me turn the light on so no, you no, no. got it. Now that is the sign of a new machine. By the way, the play field is pristine. The plastics are pristine. The game is pristine. Oh, and we took, we took Stern's original uh, metal and we put in uh, large fire washers. So you can see all the color art. Here, our third one has other music. Okay, let's, let's do, do, do this. You want to do your camera manager? Yeah, wait a minute. Okay. Let's see that what we need to do. See how, how it lights up back here? I did. I hit the bot rock star and we're off. it's missing is? Go ahead. Color DMD. Yeah, they don't make a color DMD yet. That will happen. See, all you have to do to get a color DMD made so you is to learn your this. game. You learn your game to color DMD, the whole machine, for about two or three weeks. You'll program one. Ooh. Your reward is you get a color DMD for your game. Ooh. And of course, his reward is to be able to sell them to the other 900 or 850 people. Todd, do you think we're going to hit for a copyright strike? No, yeah, because I'm talking loud enough through Mr. Copyright. See? See, I'm going to overpower the copyright. Now, if you see some cuts in the editing, then you know I wasn't able to overpower the copyrights right there. Oh, God, did you see he moved right out of my way? Uh, Capture and play the records now. Darn him. Hey, what a creep. He really moves. Okay, now we're going to go up here to play the records. No, oh, look, look. Love is strong. We have 25 records left. Now, for some reason, uh... I didn't find many reviews on it, but that's probably because nobody's played one. They couldn't see it. But. Anyway. Well, you want to do your real quick magic stuff with this? The way you shot that you like? I have a lot of magic shots. Hey, you shoot the ball up, and then I will do some magic shots. I mean, like this. See? My boy here is a much 
better player at this game. I've gotten better. I've just got better at playing them. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do the back. Back. Let's see. Let's see. Oh, you left the book again. Yeah. I thought oh, oh no, I was trying to get the backstage pass. Oh, sorry. I thought you were. I thought you were at it. Okay, let's see. Okay, you got two times score. Okay, Keith, Mick, Charlie, here. And Ronnie. So, we got some great songs here. I'll tell you, look, great job. Stereo is terrific. He did a nice job on this. He always says everything about every game. It's the only thing I want. Nobody pays me to leave good reviews. If I don't like a game, I'm going to tell you. Look at this. I got them all. What a great idea for the... for the artwork. Look at that beautiful cabinet. I think the cabinet's beautiful. It's beautiful. I think Timmy's idea to light the speakers was terrific. Beautiful. I'm mystified. I'm sorry, we only got a chance to play these two or three games in it. But our guy wants it. Well, sometimes it's worth it, just working on it. Fun. What a wonderful car. I like just lighting it. Just getting to make something different. What a nice present, guys. It's going to love it. Look, there's the total. Records playing. That was just one ball, it's good. Let's see what the match is, baby. I didn't get it. It tongue licked it. Until we rock again. You wished. Isn't that nice? Really nice. Uh, you're, how, you're, you're how many jamming. how many hours did I have to work on this thing to get it ready for the oh day? God. I, I didn't think. sleep yet. No, he hasn't slept. So he started on this last night. Six, seven. I thought it was later. Maybe eight. You eight, helped eight. me a little bit with the, the so before you left. It probably between eight. Ten. This is fourteen hours. Fourteen hours. But that's Let's cleaning go. it, wiping it down, oh, yeah. shopping it, doing. It's, it's checking a work it. of art. The last step is our no key entry. But this is but this is it's way diff This is way different than getting it off the shelf when they buy it off the shelf. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. We really that needs a Stevens touch and everything else. Yes, all the magic of TNT. The feathering. Am I part of the magic? Of course. Everybody wants to see you. They don't give a crap about the rest of us. I love you, Timmy. Yeah. They wish I would jump off the bridge again. The nicest Rolling Stones in the world. I've never seen one. This thing was so dark. I guess it was I dark, but we, we well, they saw, we saw it, yeah. <sighs> How about if you two boys get it loaded? Yeah, I know you need to make some money. I'm broke. Yes, you are. Actually, I'm not. But Christmas, maybe Santa will give you some money. He better. So, do you want a Rolling Stones? Not many out there. What do you think? It's under 800? Oh, boy. Listen, we still have some more stuff coming. Uh, we finally got all of Sean Jones' games done. So you're going to see a Make Tracks, original game. We had it in the bargain basement for ages. Nobody wanted it. So we made it into a Make Tracks Multicade for Sean. He asked for that. We have a Shinobi going to him. We have a WWF Superstars. And then, and of course, we put them all in the truck and ship them all out at once. He's already gotten them, and he's thrilled. Thank goodness. I'm glad he's happy. Ah, uh, auction's coming. You know, we do Saturday auctions. So far, we're doing uh, every week. You see us getting ready for one? We're always getting ready for auctions. So we're always going to have more stuff. I'm actually lying. Best offer sale. Thank you, Kurt. You can hear me back there? Not an auction. Oh, gosh. I can't get anything right. You? I'm, I'm getting this stuff filled in now. Oh, gosh, we're up to 22, I think. 
Is that where we're up to? All the time? I believe so, yes. 20 to, I can't remember. 21. We're up to 21. Well, not too bad. Nine more to go. You better register. Here's the registration point. Uh, and then Phil treats us all to lunch. Now, this footage was brand new. We just filmed this. The only thing that is new. So, let me end up at Applebee's. Bunch of us. Thanks to you guys who gave us donations and food. It was really nice. Let's go. Okay, the boys are enjoying lunch that you supplied. Thank you. Thank yes. you. Uh, during Thanks, the uh, video that we were filming earlier, what was it? The um, Look, I got this delicious hoagie here. Isn't that nice? And uh, uh, we couldn't go to Applebee's. They were full. So we made it into lunch. Thanks, folks. We appreciate all the donations Thank you do you. during these Thank videos. Thank you very much. In the chat, remember, we always oh, like to eat. Mm -hmm. oh. I'm the Uber driver. He goes and gets everything. <laughs> yes, he's the Uber driver. And my beautiful wife is having hers. Pay me. I Say thanks to Phil. Hold on a second. Phil, I'm enjoying my delicious hamburger. I haven't opened it up yet, but thank you so much, Phil. I was so kind to you. It makes our Friday happy. <laughs> This is Sean's make tracks. Now, this has been in the bargain basement for God how long. Nobody wanted it. Mm -hmm. And I guess nobody wanted to tackle the overhaul. But Sean says, I want this game. And we restored it. We put a new overlay on it. Stephen was able to restore the monitor bezel. Uh, so that's the original glass Did bezel. Did he feather it in? Well, he had to. The black had to be feathered in because there were issues. Look, the pink team, or the... Pink? Ooh. Orange man, that's key pink. Key that's man, that looks nice. That's a, that's a really nice pink. Is that a multi it now? Uh, we had to paint this. The paint was so far gone, so we had to paint everything here. You'll have to forgive here. Todd. We were up late last night. We were. It was the best offer sale. So this one's going to be ready to create. Shinobi's getting worked on as we speak. Yeah, Kurt's finishing that. But look, look at our superstars. What? We were using this for Superstars? That's not what you called it. You kept calling it WrestleFest. I did not. Then you called it WrestleMania. You're just very jealous of me, aren't you? Then you called it Tag Team Wrestling. It's nice, isn't it? Yes, it is. This was our test about. piece. Huh? Then he said it was... Then in Denmark, yep, about. he called it Tell About Wrestling. Yep. That's... Look. It came up nice. Kurt put two brand new joysticks in it. That's perfect. They're beautiful. Team molding. The game looks gorgeous. New t side art. Um, we have new flyback. So the monitor's chassis has been rebuilt. And uh, we just put the flyback in it. There's new caps, um, new power supply. New, 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 new. Everything we do. Well, not everything. But this is ready to go, Sean. So now we have four of the five. So I guess now we're going to go to the Shinobi. Look, we got a whole bunch of stuff to put in our next auction sale. So, we're gonna look at a Willis Astro or Space Invaders control panel overlay. And look at this thing. That's a real honest to God Willis Donkey Kong. Look, she looks horrified. And look, just got this. This was shipped on December the 1st from Escape Pod. It's Ghostbusters side art. Yes! It just came. December 1st to January 21st. Oh! The reason it was delayed is because it was sent priority mail today. Boom, 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 boom. Now, in the meantime, he shipped me uh, overnight the Ghostbusters side art. So we heard so. I gotta contact him now that we actually have it and find out what he wants me to do with it. I'll probably pay pay him for it and then I'll sell it here on one of our sales. So. Look, it's done. Shinobi, this is the fifth one for Sean Jones. It has a beautiful picture. We did a lot of rebuilding and reworking. With a light blue T-Moly, a new side art, but Sam doesn't work. 
What? Get him another board. I know I have to be flat. In the meantime, I'm going to send it. Now look back here. We rebuilt the monitor, new power supply. There's even a manual. That's the board. I'm going to send it so we can play it without the sound. I'm going to send them a board. I'm going to send them a sound board. Better, better now than at least we caught it before it went out. That's a fun game, right? Isn't it? Sure. It's on free play. We can still play it without the sound. Of course, the sound is going to be a lot better. Actually, listen. Do, 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 do. Do 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 do